Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to tell you that how you can detect the malicious code in your uh, uploads. So for example, you are using any of the Laravel version and you want to detect the malicious file. So what are the malicious file? So for example, uh, some uh, images, for example in this case I'm going to show you that how you can detect the malicious image. So what uh, what's the malicious image so basically if the image contain a script which will be execute executed into your system and hack to your system so basically this contain the malicious image or it's contain any other malicious code right so basically we are going to detect the malicious code inside the image not uh, uh, inside the image name right we are going to detect inside the image so how to do this so here uh, Laravel validation rule to check the malicious content in the file. So this one is um, a Laracon US conference uh, where they are talking about this uh, image uh, validation and uh, here this one is IC injection which is not included this one but this guy has included this uh, uh, pragmatch function right it added these both things uh, which uh, also add this RCE tools to detect uh, uh, detect uh, their stuff right so basically it's also included this one so for example you have an image which uh, contain these type of keyword so this will be automatically detected into your system right okay and uh, I will also give you an example that how to generate this type of image and then we will implement this all of the stuff or uh, any fewer steps to just to uh, give you an example how to do this so now question arises that how we can do this should we need to install any package no you need to create the laravel rule to uh, do this uh, to these things right so let's go to your application i have created uh, um, i'm working in the existing application uh, application and uh, if you are in the laravel 7 8 9 10 so still process is same right but validation a uh, new rule logic is different so you can uh, customize it according to your version so here you can uh, generate the php altison make rule right and then name your validation rule basically we are going to create a validation rule so my in my case i'm going to use this uh, malicious malicious detection rule something like this detection rule something like this and hit enter so it will create the rule inside the app and then rules and it will create this rule like this right and I'm going to create this another rule uh, I have created this one but uh, I'm still going to create a new rule okay I have created this rule and this one is now uh, look like this right I'm in the Laravel 10 and uh, still here if you go back so this one is written in the older version right uh, if you want to customize it according to the laravel 9 or 10 you can do this i think it's written in the laravel 8 so you can uh, uh, you can customize it but you can still use this format in the newer version too i'm using the laravel 10 so just cut everything and paste this stuff right nothing change you need to just add the namespace at the top uploaded file and this should be not guzzle this should be http right illuminate http and this namespace will be added at the top this one right okay and uh, let me see other things no nothing is so uh, here you can do this and uh, you can yeah it's fine and now in your validation rule where you are validating this so I have uh, I'm running this application and uh, I'm going to open this uh, form request if you are not familiar with the form request so basically form request uh, are the um, use for the validation like uh, you are using um, this requ uh, request to validate and then uh, any of the any of the field name and then its rule required minimum right so this is the same case you can create a new class right it's identical stuff i'm not talking about anything else http request you can uh, create your new request and in the request uh, you can pass your rule for example title would be required 
it should be string and maximum value right in th and in the same case i have also implemented this thing for the uh, for my code right for the existing code i'm uploading the images so here i'm not going to use the existing one i'm going to choose a malicious okay malicious uh, image malicious, uh, malicious detection what's my rule name let me check this out here malicious detection rule right okay it should do the malicious uh, detection rule something like this why well, it's not here let me uh, copy it from here oh why well, i copied this php file i edit this out and let's also add this namespace at the top so it's inside the use app slash rule slash this one right so let's go back here i have added this at the top right and why it's not detecting this out let me check this yeah i need to save this one because it's not uh, saved and uh, now this rule is there and you can uh, use this rule right so let's so uh, let's add it at the top I created the rule but I'm unable to switch into this rule I don't know what's the reason I'm able to uh, switch this rule but not here I think I am having some problem with my namespace validation image ah, ah I replaced this so uh, image class name so that's why it's behaving differently right so i did the namespace because i cloned this everything from the uh, from here right i cloned this from here and my this uh, name is replaced right so that's why i mm, came back here and then change a match with this one so let's go back uh, save this one and yes now it's detectable right i can instantly go inside this one okay fine and now let's go here and validate this one so for example i'm going to uh, upload these things here and i'm going to choose an image but what image i need to choose so let's uh, go here uh, here you need any of the svg image so let's try if we have any svg image uh, i think we don't have so let's uh, download the svg image uh, mm, sample as we g download <coughs> okay svg file please wait a moment okay waiting what's this okay download this svg file downloading but it's not downloading this stuff actually okay let's go back and find this on the other one I, I actually downloaded this but uh, i updated my windows operating system so that's why it's changed right so this one i have downloaded a sample svg and i'm going to open any of the text editor and open this into the you uh, into this text editor here okay uh, let's paste this out here okay uh, give me a minute to reload this one this would be the this one okay this one is the image if i will upload this image so this will be uploaded right without any uh, exception because i'm accepting this svg image just click on this submit and yes this one is uh, uploaded and uh, what should the svg and this one is this one right and now i'm going to create a new fruit which contain the malicious code right so what are the malicious code so just go here create a new svg tag here and i'm going to create a script inside this right for example skip to here you need to add this so you are hacked right so just go here and upload this uh, image let me use this fake filler chrome extension this one is extension to use the uh, fill the fake data i choose this image just click on this submit and it says that system detectors are malicious content inside the attachment 
right as it's uh, given here they are customizing this uh, uh, validation message right so it's detecting that to uh, it's contain the malicious so how it's detecting it's basically matching with these keyword it's finding inside the file that file contain these uh, keywords are not so here the script is uh, uh, yeah script is mentioned here right or uh, you can also php shell let's go here just add this php shell here and i'm going to test this out again uh, let's get refresh to remove this validation message from the top okay removed and go back and then i'm going to choose uh, a new Im uh, this one image click on this submit and yes it says that system detected a malicious attachment so in this way you can validate your images if they are malicious or not if you are using any of the public forum or any of the website where public can upload uh, their things right so here i have mentioned this inside the array right but if you are using like uh, a file or attachment to as a single not an array so the process is same so here you need to pass your malicious uh, rule right and that's it you don't need to do anything i'm using the array right so that's why i did this so uh, i'm detecting this this is the array and then applying this all of the attributes of the errors if i uploaded the five images it's also going to check that five images if four images are fine so it will also check this fifth image and if the fifth image were wrong so it will detect that this one contain the malicious code right so if i go here and i'm going to okay, let me make this uh comment the above line i'm going to now check multiple images how you can validate the multiple images so let's uh, go here and i'm going to now uh, choose uh, two images right this one so in this way let's click on this uh, submit and it says that it's contain the malicious code i think i have chosen the different images uh, let me choose the uh, interview and screenshot so let's click on this submit and yes they are submitted but i'm now going to upload the malicious image and uh, validated image right for example uh, this one is a correct image which uh, doesn't contain any malicious code and this one contain the malicious code so i'm going to upload this both one so click on this submit and it says that system detected a malicious code right still it's going to uh, detect those images and by the way you can also uh, customize these messages if for example you want to display the index so you can do this like this right but uh, in the validation case i'm using i'm um, overriding the uh, message using this new rule so that's why it's uh, behaving like differently right it's uh, throwing only this message for the image you can apply this for the each specific index by mentioning the index inside this one inside new rule right here so if you like the video, subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.